A tony multifamily home in the heart of quiet Manchester by the sea. Its walls hiding an alarming near military grade stockpile. 11 rifles, two handguns, two Kevlar vests, two Kevlar helmets, two flare guns, six pairs of handcuffs, two bayonet knives, 17 military ammunition containers. Plus a cache of tear gas and pepper spray grenades, all acquired in the last nine months, police say by this man, 45 year old Gregory Girard. Local, state, and federal authorities were tipped off by his wife, a Cambridge psychiatrist, who told local police she was afraid to go home. He's convinced that martial law is imminent and that he made the following uh, statements recently to her. Don't talk to people, shoot them instead. It's fine to shoot people in the head because traitors deserve it. Neighbors say Gerard rarely left the house, hoarded food and medication, and even warned people in adjoining apartments not to be alarmed by what might sound like gunfire. Police say he had converted the third-story loft into a firing range, taking shots with his assault rifle at this illegal ballistic plate. We have great concern with the sheer number of weapons, the proximity of other residences, and the potential for significant danger to our community. A judge ordered Gerard held for evaluation. Prosecutors say his wife plans to file a restraining order. We are very thankful that no one was injured. We feel our community is safer having this type of weaponry off of the street, and we certainly hope that uh, Mr. Gerard gets the help that he needs. The work continues at the Manchester by the Sea Police Department because officers are going to have to catalog not only all the firepower, but the ammunition they have to determine if any other laws have been broken. In Manchester by the Sea, Dave Cartoon in 7 News.